Here's the JCPS students return to school today was smoother than the bus crisis last week. Elementary and middle school students were back in the classroom as part of the district's staggered reopening. School officials say the bus runs today were more timely than the first day. However, there were still reports of delays for pickups and drop offs. JCPS is the latest at Goldsmith Elementary arrived an hour after the bell and the last student reached their bus stop at 743 tonight. Parents tell WLKY they're interested to see how Monday will play out, but still they had concerns about today's results. One grandmother we spoke to says her second grade grandson was dropped off four miles away from his stop. They should have never done all this. Every bit of it's been nothing but a nightmare. Nothing but a nightmare. They get to go to school one day, out for a week. Okay. Try it again one day, you know, and just half the kids. And if they're losing, half, you know, kids already on just one day, if only half the kids, what's going to happen when they take all the children? I feel like today is going to go smooth since it's half the students, you know, middle school and elementary. But Monday comes around, I'm sure once they get to high schoolers, it'll be a little bit more of a headache. But, you know, it is what it is. JCPS implemented several short-term efforts to fix the bus issues, including staff helping navigate challenging routes and extra staff at the bus hotline center. After all students were home, JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio issued a statement. It said in part, our bus drivers and staff did a phenomenal job getting tens of thousands of students safely to and from school today. The short-term adjustments we put in place were successful, and we continue to work on more substantial long-term solutions.